Every time I use Johnson's baby oil, I'm thinking there is a man who got a thousand bottles of these. I want to say, damn you. Damn you, Diddy. This has been ruined for me now. This, this has been ruined for me. If you're black, you need this. If you're a black man, and especially if you're black and you live in a cold environment, this sun Vaseline is needed. You need this. So ignore the baby stuff and everything. This product right here, your Johnson baby will cut the damn check, please. This product right here is needed. We get we get dry skin. So this is this is to my Caucasian brothers out there. So my Caucasian brothers and sisters out there, we get dry skin, and this is needed, especially during winters where our skin gets a lot drier to moisturize our skin. Didi has ruined this for me now. I will never look at this product the same way again. Never. So every time I see this product, I'm thinking of the diddler and a thousand bottles of these. So Didi, thank you, you freaking moron. You've now ruined this image for me. Every time I now use... Every time I use Johnson's baby oil, I'm thinking there is a man who got a thousand bottles of these. <sighs> it's wild. It's wild. Like, I, this is wild. I mean, we'll get to the whole name. This, this is wild. Um, actually, no, let's, no, 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 let us, no, let's, let's even start, let, let's actually start here. 50 cents is one of the worst bullies out there. So either way you want to view, he's either one of the best bullies or the worst bullies, but his bullying is quality. Ask Ja Rule. Ask Ja, ja, ja Rule. Ja Rule will never f f forgive this man. This guy is a constant pain in the AWS. Go to his Instagram page. Every other thing is, did he or did he not? <laughs> did he or did he not? And he just took issue with Pop Daddy because I think they had like some kind of um, beef in the best. I mean, like, someone tell me in the comments below, what was the issue 50 had with Pop Daddy? Because I know they had some kind of musical issue. Suffice to say that 50 Cent has been at the forefront of making sure that the Diddy goes down. And now Netflix have now won the writes for the doc of, I think it's called a Diddy Do It. <laughs> um, and what you have to realize is everyone's going to watch that documentary. Everybody's going to watch that documentary. And I think that's... Because when, when Fifth Sense was doing, doing the, <laughs> this stuff, like this was even before he got arrested. I saw some people in the Instagram comments say, man, how can you do this to another fellow black man? Blah, blah, and this is so bad. You know, he's going through it. And why can you? And guys responded rightfully so that. So if another black man, you know he's guilty of egregious acts, you shouldn't say anything due to black solidarity. Are you dumb, stupid, or an imbecile? Truth, you have to. It's one, it's one of those three. Either you're dumb, either you're stupid, or you're an imbecile. You have to choose one of those three. It's a multiple choice. Choose one. No, a guy is guilty. He's guilty. If he's a bad man, he's a bad man. And Fifty Cent knows him, and Fifty Cent has traveled in cycles, and probably knows people who knows these secrets about Diddy because they travel around similar cycles. They're in the music industry and in the same music genre of that industry. So if anybody will know, 50 would know based on just how popular 50 is and how he'd be able to have access to the kinds of guys that Diddy had access to. But guys, see, for, for, for some of you younger viewers out there, there's a guy called Mason Bethel who's actually in the, in the, in the background here. See, because I'm a bit older than some of you guys, I, remember, I, really, I really remember the 90s. Being around the world, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, 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 then. All about the Benjamins, <laughs> you know. And look, 
the way he remixed, I think it was Victory from the Bill Conti soundtrack from Rocky II um, that had Big on it and Buster Rhymes. Good, good track, good track. Guys, when you look at this, this image here, does that image look like someone who wouldn't buy a thousand bottles of baby oil? Just pause for a minute and just look at the image we're looking at right now. And if I told you that this man right here, forget his name is Diddy or Puff Daddy, this man right here that you're looking at bought a thousand bottles of baby oil, would you be shocked? No. <laughs> you wouldn't be, be shocked. Um, and this is what I said on my previous video here. S people have to be worried. So I learned that um, Usher erased his entire Twitter timeline completely. Totally erased it. And there are people now, possibly within his cycles, who are like, okay, we best refrain from dude. And the thing here is, also Joe Biden is to. And this is where it gets worrying for some people. It is a look. You're facing, just for example, you're facing 40 years. But we can give you 2025. So we can cut, so that can go from 40 to 25 if you give us some names of known accomplices. The bigger the name, the more likely we are to cut your time down. And 100%. Puff Daddy isn't a guy where like, oh, I'm not going to snitch. He will snitch. He'll snitch. And he will tell. But let's go back to this very quickly because, because I'm more intrigued into this. I'd like to ask Puff Daddy this question here because this is what I, I, I want to know. You do know that it's unlikely that there will be like a... Um, barren spell of baby oil because this is an extremely popular product globally extremely popular products because babies use this black people use this as well so I asked to pop daddy is why did you need a thousand bottles you do know that you can get like 15 black oh because okay now this is not oh good Jesus now this is where it gets scary because at first I'll say, okay, why do you need a thousand bottles? Just get 50 and okay, we need more. Get 20 more. Okay, we need more. So if you're saying that you need a thousand bottles of baby already made, what kind of free cuffs were these? Because are you saying that these free cuffs were involved like an army? <laughs> so that is what worries me. If you need a thousand bottles ready made in Guys, for one person, this is one bottle. For one person, this, you would need to use this months. This can last one person months. Months. Like, you put a little dab on this, boom, your whole body is oiled. <laughs> so my thing though is, did he have like hundreds of people at one time with this stuff, with baby oil? <sighs> Guys. <laughs> Look, we will learn more. And also, I didn't want to say this. And, I, and it's good thing that I maybe say this. I said, I'm hoping this is a lie. I pray this Because I think this is a lie, but this is just what I read. I believe this is a lie. This is a lie. So there is a a rumor, an allegation. Because you know guys will just throw out stuff because guys want to be excited. But there's a rumor that they seized like 570, I think it was like 370 dildos. That's the rumor. That's, they sealed 370 dildos. 